Happy New Year, Yamamura! Here's to our first Crash Course of 2016! Happy New Year, my apprentice! 2016 is off to a great start! I couldn't agree more! Now then, let's get right to it and take a look at our courses from last time. Players must float through my course on a cloud while dodging flames and cannonballs. And, of course, Yoshi makes an exciting cameo. I see. I'll admit there's something fun about going through your course in a cloud rather than running across it like normal. Here's my course. Behold! Whoa, that's some hardcore course creation. I've never used auto scroll in a course before, so that took me by surprise. I told you I wasn't messing around. That's why I tried using auto scroll for the first time. Now then, let's find out who won this battle. Yep, my heart's racing. And the winner is... Yamamura! That's me! Oh, boo. I lost. Ha <laughs> ha The percentage of stars per play was 7% for you and 13% for me. Wow, that's a big difference. Amazing. I suppose you're the master and I'm the student for a reason. You had no chance, I'm afraid. After all, I am the master. I've been making courses for years. Or... Months? How long has this game been out? Anyway, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who voted for me. As a token of my appreciation, I've prepared a special gift. A gift? What could it be? Voila! Ku featuring Yamamura. This is not the same level shown on the Super Mario Maker website, but I don't know where that level is, so I'll just play this one, considering it was the one... the... the the level that allows you to play with the Yamamura costume. It's actually decently tough, too. As shown right there. Um, this is the last episode of the Crash Course sub-series for now. This is largely because bonus episode 1 doesn't really end all that conclusively, while this one does. If Nintendo ever decides to translate the other bonus episodes, if they exist, then I'll happily continue the series to the chagrin of other people, but until then, this will be the last episode. There's, like, what they're covering in the bonus episode is like the key update. So the keys, the screws, and um, fire Koopa Clown car, or whatever the other thing was. Um, I imagine there are quite a few people, there are quite a few people who are glad that I'm done with this series, but, oops, didn't mean to do that. There's still the Bowser episodes, or rather Bowser levels, that I have to cover, followed by... Well, actually in this episode, I think I'll cover the rest of the Mario and Yamamura levels, along with Mario's uh, costume level. Uh, if you want to get to the top of the flagpole, you use that trick over there, but I don't care all that much. Is that a Yamamura costume? That's right! I asked the Super Mario Maker developers to create a special Yamamura costume for all of the Yamamura diehards out there who voted for my course. Um, I'm pretty sure they voted for you because they like your course, not because they're a fan of you personally. Jealous? Well, since I'm something of a hero, I'm allowing even those who did not vote for my course to use my costume as well. All you have to do is go to Event Courses and clear Koo featuring Yamamura. That will unlock the Yamamura costume. Ooh, fun! I can't wait to play it! Well, I guess this means the Mario and Yamamura series really has come to an end. True, but I'd like to say one last thing before we go our separate ways. Oh? What's that? Please don't think that my way is the only way to create courses and that everything else is wrong. Wait, what? Isn't that the whole point? I gave all those tips while I was editing courses you had already finished, right? That means those tips were mostly relevant to the final steps of the course creation process. The polishing stage, if you will. I suppose that's true. This might sound a bit hypocritical, but I honestly wasn't thinking too much about my creation virtue of love while creating this course. No way! I won't believe it! It's true! I was thinking, how can I show off this red cannon? Of course, I still made adjustments to enhance the player's experience once I was in the tweaking phase. My point is that you should feel free to do whatever you want when you're creating a course from scratch. So you're saying we shouldn't focus too hard on your advice when we're starting a new course creation? Precisely. Don't let my tips stop you from getting experimental. If it doesn't work out, try again. Love is still an important ingredient, but love isn't just about thinking of others. It's also about being bold and daring and following your heart. There are infinite possibilities in course creation. The journey of learning new ways to make fun courses never ends. 
I agree. Create a course that ignites your imagination, and then edit it with love. I think that might be the secret to creating great courses. That would be what I said. Still, well summarized, Mario. Thank you. Now that we've gotten to the heart of things, I believe that officially concludes the Mario and Yamamura Crash Course series. Thank you so much for reading our comics. We hope to see you again soon. Mario and Yamamura, coming to a theater near you! No, we're not. You can't just say that, Yamamura. <sighs> Mario's lunch break. This is a considerably longer level compared to Yamamura's. But is it better? Is the question. Not positive. Oh, by the way, the this must be like the end of the video, so it's all levels from now on. No more comic uh, voicing or something like that. Just me playing levels as I used to do and still do. I mean, I played a level on literally every episode, but most people don't care all that much considering the levels were kind of underwhelming for, at the very least, at the beginning. Uh, I need a P-switch. Right over there. I kind of wish... A lot of costumes... The only... Like, the character is, on, is only voiced in uh, Japanese. Like, I think the biggest example is Shulk. He really should have had an English variant. Because... Whatever he says is not as entertaining as saying, uh, I'm really feeling it. This is not too bad. It's a shooter segment. I think there's a tricky part at some point, so I, b I better be careful. Yeah, right here. I can blow these things up. Helps a lot. Thank you. And yeah, just move on down here. Actually, I imagine if uh, Shulk was speaking English, he would say stuff like, uh, this is the Monado's power and it's Shulk time. Something like that? Probably. And I don't know why I'm being such a doofus and not blowing these things up in advance, but that should do it in time at least. This is an interesting level. Like, it's a, it's a boss right here. This is cool. I'm gonna keep my costume. Yay! Destroy all the things! Um. Well, don't need to destroy them anymore now. Let's get out of here. Yep, just gonna finish the level. It's. It's not bad. It's. In fact, it's fairly entertaining. Even has a pretty decent end. Now, moving on, we have Mario's Key Course, which I believe is part of Bonus Episode 2, maybe? If there's a Bonus Episode 2, it's never been translated into English. This is not so bad for a level, I want to say. Mostly because it uses different setups, and it's not the new Super Mario Bros. style anymore. Of course, you probably want to practice on the same uh, mode over and over and over until you understand what makes a level good. Is this a trap? Nah, it's just a bunch of points. I have a feeling this is a troll level, but... No, that can't be right. Uh, tells me to jump to the right. I'm gonna ignore that. And search for a key. Hmm, I guess I'm supposed to go inside this door. Yep. And... Damn it. Nope. I'm trying to get rid of the boo. It's tougher than it looks. There. That's what I needed. Uh -huh. I was wondering when I was going to start collecting the coins. What happens if I go up here? Okay, okay. That's where I'm going to have to go. I want to continue with the level. But, there should be a P-switch somewhere. Oh, it's probably going to be a return door. Yeah. Is 
Sounds simple enough. Yeah. Now that I think about it, this must have been done. <laughs> Trying to reach that. Oh, jeez. Damn it. Yeah, I... In my, uh, uh, what's it called? Ganon's Trials level? Uh, there was a similar issue about catching a coin that was in the air like that. If you run at full speed, you will in fact be able to catch it. Both in this level and my Ganon's Trials level. But it can be really tough to figure that out because I'm concerned like you. It's not obvious, you know? It's not very obvious. Same level as before, but this time Yamamura edited it, so it should be slightly better. To be honest, it feels exactly the same, if you ask me. Oh yeah, but this here is right a lot easier. Too easy, too much easier, in fact. It was actually quite a challenge to defeat the Boo. But some people might not realize that you can defeat the Boo, which is probably why Yamamura edited that. Yeah, bonus is right here. And Yamamura decided to change the layout here because... Hmm. Make it more obvious this is like optional or something. And no way to... Yeah, because uh, there was a pit to our right. So a lot of people thought, well, maybe there's something over there because I don't know what to do. And they would die because of that. Yeah, that must be it. Um... Yeah, not a power up right there that I wasted. Let's go down here, because concerned that's where we have to go. Damn it. Piece which was too much time to come out. Oh, but it was the coin lord? Yes, it was. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, okay, this is better. That's for sure. And this is more obvious that it's where you have to go if you want to continue with the level. Yeah. Very minor adjustments, but they really did improve the level. Wouldn't you all agree? Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, Super Mario Maker Crash Course. Uh, next time I'm going to be covering the Bowser levels. Not sure if I'll be doing two each video or one each video, but that's what I'll be doing. Hope most of you enjoyed the series and hope you all have a very nice day. Bye-bye.